an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another video, man. I am on my way uh, to a post Oak Toyota. I'm finna take this car to get serviced, and while I'm there, I'm finna look up, look at something new because you know they already trying to hook a brother up. So I might as well see what I can get into that's cheap up in Toyota right off the showroom floor. So anyway, I hope everybody has been enjoying the videos that i've been displaying because i just be putting my real thoughts out there in my you know it's it's real stuff going on in the world and we can all get money together live happy and just clown around and enjoy life together at the same time so i don't want to bring everything down i don't want to bring life down i know like i want to get where i want to get in life is like having a lot of money, having a lot of homes, having a lot of, uh, you know, uh, different business ventures that I could jump into, like when stuff comes up. See, the most, the thing I hate the most is that every time there's an opportunity and I miss it, I be like, damn, I wish I just had the business uh, and I wish I had the, my money and my business right to jump into that and I always be like that. So, you know, just recently I've been able to actually take action on some of the business opportunities that's been coming ahead of me and I've actually been able to make, uh, to capitalize off of it, which is always a good thing and that's what I wanted, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, it's like, man, you even though you broke right now, you don't always have to be broke, you just have to start somewhere. And the day I realized and I figured out and I said that I was going to start, yeah, I was still broke. I said I was going to start, but there was no actual, like, change. There was no flip of the switch. I had to work. I had to grind. I had to hustle on extra. I had to find money this way, find money that way. And then when I was able to do all that, you know money started coming to me so that's why that's it did but it wasn't easy though that's what i'm saying it wasn't easy it wasn't nothing like there was no no day that i just decided that i was just gonna uh no month no day did money just decide that it was gonna make itself for me that don't happen so i actually had to learn and figure out different things with business like i said I don't want to be telling y'all how to make money. I, I want to, I mean, I don't, I do want to tell y'all how to make money, but I'm not going to give you each and every formula. But if I could break down the beginning, because most people, everybody want to tell you, you can make a lot of money. You know, they say you can make a thousand dollars a day, day trading. You can make this much, but they don't tell you, you're going to make, you know, $10 a day for the first six months until you make a breakthrough. Or they don't tell you that uh, that you know you're gonna get cussed out a thousand times on these cold calls and you might not you still might not get a sale they don't tell you all that they don't tell you that like when you do make these cold calls it's like you're gonna be talking to the same person for the next six months they don't tell you this stuff they just tell you that you're going to be making this money that's going to be coming out of nowhere and no one knows where it's going to come from. All you got to do is listen to them. You know, put the work in, put the effort in. It's more than just that. So here we are, poor post Oak Toyota. You know, it's too cold to be walking around. So I'm definitely not going to be anywhere but on the service room floor. I mean, on the showroom floor. That's that's just a damn fact. Let's see if they got some popcorn. Let's see if they got. Pull to the door. Look like right. Alright. Pulling up to Post Oak. And he's coming to raise the garage up. Please do, because you know it is too damn cold. I'm gonna just go ahead and ease it here. All 
Alright. Alright, everyday people, man. We are back. And we just got the car service here at Post Oak Toyota in Midwest City. I would not necessarily ever buy a Toyota, but if you wanted to, this is where you go. Let's see what they got in here. So they got a bunch of used cars over here. I see one that automatically caught my eyes, the Challenger. But it's just a regular basic Challenger. Nothing special. Shit a little bit down. Is it $2.99 a month? So for $2.99 a month probably. Look at. Let's see, they got the regular. That looks like a classic. But it had the side skirt. Let's see what they got here. That shit was on flat. And it's just a bunch of used trucks and it's a GMC Sierra. There's a big horn. Four by four. It don't look like it got the Hemi, but oh yeah, it gotta have a Hemi because it got the dudes on it. So um, mm, mm. interesting. Interesting, but Needless to say, Toyota, they really don't have no good cars and shit, but All right, so on to the rest of our day right now. I am about to I need to take some allergy medicine because my allergies is tripping But I need to go on the other side of the highway because I What we about to do is go down to Sonic Allergies, man. Good lord. Let's go down to Sonic and let's see if we can. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm a master mason, and uh, I have a lodge here in Oklahoma City. Our lodge is in Oklahoma, and uh, basically, uh, we are about to do a raffle, a giveaway, and I want to go down here to Sonic and see what I need to do to get donated some gift cards for our nonprofit organization so we can have our raffle and that is what I'm going to do so you know when you join organizations and you're in uh, or you have you know your kids in sports you do stuff like this so it's good to know and experience things and put things together and because when you go to college one thing when you're in business college what they do is they teach you how to reach out to these people and get things done uh, for situations like this and be uh, and be organized and I think a lot of people don't really understand They be like why do I need to go to college college ain't gonna teach me nothing Now college does it does in ways teach you organizational skills because you have to have projects done before you graduate college so but if you take what you've learned and you apply it but see you also have to have real life situations like you actually have to you know be out there in the world and find a job or organization that you can use the skills that you're learning like the one thing people don't do when they go to college is they work they don't work for the company or that they want to work for in the future they don't work towards the job that they want in the future so when a person goes to college it's probably in some college town where they probably don't have the jobs necessary for you to do what you want to do or they're so scarce like because every person at the school is trying to work at these jobs so you have to settle for a job at a fast food restaurant a job at a clothing store and so through college you're building this a mass amount of debt and you're working a poor uh job and probably two jobs and probably a job bartending just to make extra money and you're not applying it to whatever you're going to college for and that's why you think why people be like man college was nothing uh, you know i mean ain't they right so all right everyday people i'm gonna holler at y'all when i get down to sonic okay we're gonna go in there okay all right peace <laughs> 